Uh, White House announced that Joe Biden's headed to Virginia to campaign for Terry McAuliffe. Can you give a sense of what Joe Biden will be doing over the next couple of weeks in Virginia or the campaign for McAuliffe? Has he been asked to come? Uh, I don't have any uh, updates on travel. Uh, I would expect we will have more to convey soon about uh, his plans to support uh, the election of former Governor McAuliffe. And one more just on the G20 this mm -hmm. morning. I, I wonder if there was any sense of frustration on the part of our allies or a sense that the U.S. has an obligation to do more because of, because of, because of our withdrawal from Afghanistan. Can you give any more on that? More than being far and away the largest provider of humanitarian assistance? No, I'm asking you. I would point you to our allies. I haven't heard them have that complaint. Go ahead. Thanks, Jen. As the price tag comes down on the reconciliation package, are you all, are there certain pay-fors that you are also becoming more amenable to negotiating on then? For instance, of staying at the corporate tax rate now, for instance, um, are there policies like that that you all are coming down on? Or? Well, I would say that um, because the package will not be $3.5 trillion, as you all know, uh, it will be smaller, as everyone has acknowledged. You won't need the same number of paid for us, obviously. It doesn't require a mathematician. I think that's why you're asking the question. Um, but in terms of what those look like, there have been a range of proposals the president has conveyed he supports uh, as, it re as, as it relates to pay for us. Ultimately, he wants to make the tax system more fair, uh, raising the corporate rate, asking uh, the highest income Americans to pay more is certainly part of, uh, part of what he has proposed. But that's all part of the discussion as we speak. Earlier you just said that um, if you all don't act on some of the social spending, you're not going to have the opportunity to do it for some time. Um, was that a speculation on the midterms, or what, what did you mean by that? <laughs> no. No, it was not. Uh, it was conveying that this is a moment coming out of a pandemic to uh, change fundamentally how we invest in our workforce, how we invest in American families, uh, how we think about what our priorities are in the United States. Is our priority making sure that people can afford childcare so that they can join the workforce? Is it or is it not? Is our priority doing more to address the climate crisis? Is it or is it not? And coming out of a pandemic is exactly a moment to do that. It was not a political, uh, it was not a political assessment. It was more about the moment we're coming out of now. Go ahead.